Well, welcome along. We're going to do uh, June 2015 Chains Energy and Resources paper today. Um, it wasn't too bad a paper, so hopefully you found the same. Uh, so let's have a go. So we've got a question about different alkanes found in crude oil. And this is the one of the structural isomers of C7H16. What is meant by a term structural isomer? Well, as you know, it's the same molecular formula, but with a different structure. Name this compound A. So let's do this. We've got one, two, three, four carbons. So we're going to start off with it being butane. I've got three methyl groups coming off of that. Two on carbon number two and one on carbon number three. So it becomes two, two, three, tri, methyl, butane. So the structural isomers of C5H12 have different boiling points. Draw the skeletal form of the isomer with the highest boiling point. Well, it's going to be the one with the longest chain. So I've got five, one, two, ooh, let's do pen, one, So the structural isomers of C5H12 are different boiling points. Which one will have the highest boiling point? And it wants the skeletal formula. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five is going to be the one with the longest chain. A molecule of an alkane has 24 carbon atoms. What's the empirical formula? Well, let's just agree. So if I've got C24, I'm going to have H. It's 2n plus 2, so 48 plus 2 is going to be 50. So C24H50, obviously that's not the empirical formula, the simplest one is C12H25 is your answer. Okay, alkanes are used as fuels. <coughs> Construct an equation for complete combustion of octane. So I've got C8H18. And I'm obviously going to add to it O2. And you know that we make carbon dioxide and water. Dead easy to balance these. You've got eight carbons there, so you need eight carbon dioxides. 18 hydrogens there, so you obviously need nine waters there. And then if you add up, you've got 16 oxygens here, plus nine. That gives me 25, so just put 25 over 2, and that sorts out your oxygen. Combustion of 36.48 grams of octane produced uh, 2.5 moles of carbon dioxide. Show that this was incomplete. Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, the moles of octane, so if we do moles of octane, is going to be equal to 36.48. That's my mass divided by the molar mass of octane, which is 140, and that comes to 0.32. Um, how many moles of CO2? would be produced from that. Well, for every one of those, I make eight CO2, so it would be eight times 0.32, which comes to 2.56 moles, but you can see I only actually produce 2.5 moles of carbon dioxide, and therefore you would need to state that less carbon dioxide was produced than expected. Okay, so alkanes in crude oil can be used to manufacture ethene. Two stages required, name those two stages. Well, as you know, the first one would be fractional distillation, that breaks, um, that separates all the different fractions up, and then you need to crack the larger alkanes, and that becomes a shorter alkane and an alkene, which is what we have here. So fractional distillation and cracking. Um, write an equation for the preparation of ethene theme from an alkane. Well, that's a pretty random one, isn't it? You can do what you like, really. Um, let's pick 
C8, H18. I've got to make E3, which is C2, H4. What am I left over? Well, C6, H14 is left over. Obviously, it depends which one of these you pick.